Yo, what's going on guys? It's GB Smokescreen here. We are back for a brand new video. This is going to be a bit of a different video. Well, not really a different video because I have done this before. But anyway, this is my top 10 hated decks of 2018. I've done my favorite decks of 2017, but I never did my top 10 hated of 2017. So I decided to do my top 10 hated decks of 2018. But anyway... Um, honestly, I've been wanting to do another top 10 for, I've been thinking to do another top 10 and everything, but I was thinking, like, what should I do, like, what should I do, I'm thinking maybe equipped spells, maybe, um, maybe, like, you know, like, equipped spells or something, maybe, like, best fusions, in my opinion, or, I don't know, I, I don't know, but honestly, top 10 hated and top 10 favorite are, like, my favorite things to do, so, so this time I'm gonna be doing, so for this one, I'm gonna be doing my top 10 hated decks since I never did my 2017, I'm gonna do 2018, even though 2018 is not that yet over, but honestly, like I don't see any other deck, and, like compared to these 10 decks, I don't see any other deck I'm gonna be hating except for the first ones, um, the first couples. But anyway, uh, just so you guys are aware, uh, throughout this video, um, the first, the first two, you aren't gonna hear um much rage at me honestly, cause like honestly, the first two decks, they're kind of like whatever now. They're, they didn't, like, impact me that hard compared to the other eight. But you know what? This deck, but these two decks still left a bad taste in my mouth. But anyway, let's get right on to this video. Just enough yammering. Let's get into these top ten this top ten video. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button down below, and let's get started. Anyway, for number ten, we have Goki. Goki is on here. Goki is basically on this list as a kind of a symbol of basically every link spamming warrior deck out there. So there's Goki, there's ninjas, there's Sa six samurais. Well, ninjas I don't ninjas I don't hate. I like ninjas. I like ninjas. I like the link spamming ninjas can do. But overall, it's still bullshit. Um, Goki is basically like was like the beginning it was like the beginning of me hating link spamming warrior decks all right i mean hell when they first came out like this is like when they first when i first got to play them this was before links were even a thing this is before links were like you know implemented into online gaming so i haven't really got to experience their link capabilities yet but i got to experience some other different things you can do with them so anyway one, the only card in their in their deck that honestly, like, in their main deck at least, that I find the most bullshit is Goki Rematch. Goki Rematch basically is basically two monster reborns in one card. It's pretty bullshit. You get it for free. This is fucking free. All right? It's free. You can search it out. All right? With the Goki monster pack. They all have searching capabilities when they go to the grave. They all have searching game, all right? All of them. When they go to the grave, they search out a new Goki card. And I'm like, what the hell is this? All right? So it's kind of like you never run out of monsters uh, to summon. It really, all right? And then you have rematch so you can activate and get even more. And I'm like, shit, man. This deck could do so many link combos. But that's not all. Then there's the extra deck. The things that these guys get access to. All right? These guys get access into Easel, they get access into Summit Sorceress, the Nightmare cards, and then Firewall. Freaking the... All right? They get freaking these four cards, that access into these four cards, plus on any other thing. Because they can extra link and everything, they can actually go into Gumblar Dragon and freaking, like, hand loop your opponent. They can hand loop your opponent. They could probably get maybe two... They could probably loop four cards out of your opponent's hand. What type of bullshit is that? All right, I mean, well, probably Mermails is a bit more bullshit because they can hand loop for six. All right, because of Moline Glacia. But anyway, um, yeah, but freaking Goki, honestly, they left a bad starting taste in my mouth um, when Lynx came out just because of what they can do. Just look at how much Lynx spamming they can do now. All right, and then freaking Firewall is like, is Firewall still kicking around? So like, what the hell, man? Anyway, that's enough on Goki. I, ever, I, I even said that I wasn't going to go into too much detail in the first two, and I went into quite a bit of detail in Goki. All right, well, the next one's definitely not not really. All right, number nine is ABCs. ABCs is basically like 
you know, it, it. I hated them at the beginning. I really did. Well, no, actually, no. At the beginning, I kind of liked them. I kind of liked them in the beginning. But then they, I don't know. As, like, the months came out, I kind of grew out of them. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? I don't care about this deck. And now every time I verse it, I'm like, man, fuck. Because I know what the deck is capable of. All right, so. All right, freaking ABC Dragon Ball is so freaking bullshit and everything. All right, and the fact, like, there is, like, the XYZ Dragon Cannon and everything. You really got to get these motherfuckers on the fucking board in order to summon that shit. All right? You had to get, all right, you had to get VWs. Uh, you can only get VW or XYZ or VW XYZ if you have the monsters actually on the fucking board. No, nah, no. Nah. Freaking, all right, in order to summon this motherfucker, you just need A, B, and C in your fucking grave. Or in your, or on your field. They can be on your field or in your grave. All right? And you can just, all right, and you just get a free ABC Buster for fucking free. All you just gotta get him is just in the grave. That's all you gotta do. And that's not freaking hard. It's not hard. All right, and before Lynx came out, freaking that, what's that Bojin monster? Whatever that Bojin monster is, freaking made it too easy. He made it too easy to freaking get ABC on the board. He made it way too easy. Now Lynx are out, and it makes it a little bit harder because, like, you can't, you know, makes it a T bit harder, but not too much. Anyway, right, and now E Assault Court going to one. Was honestly, I liked it. I liked that because, like, fuck yeah, man. Like, I probably want to deal with ABCs that much anymore. But honestly, ABCs can still do a lot. ABCs can still do quite a bit now, um, even with A at one. But the thing is, the only reason why they're at number nine, they'd probably be a bit higher on the list. They'd probably be maybe like, I don't know. They'd probably be maybe like seven. Maybe they'd probably be at seven. But you know what? Like, this, all right, but honestly, the only reason why this deck is at freaking nine is because of Called by the Grave. That's literally the only reason. Freaking Call by the Grave, man, counter this deck very, very fucking easily. All right? You can play this card and banish their A Soul Core before they summon their ABC, and then they can't even summon it unless they can find a way to get a Soul Core back in the grave. Also, you can all, also you can really dick them over by you can if your opponent activates uh, ABC Dragon Buster's effect, attribute itself, and summon the A, B, and C from their banish zone, you can literally Call by the Grave, banish that, and banish that ABC Dragon Buster and negate its effect. You can negate the effect of it and then your and their A, B, and C stay banished. Alright? Not only that, their A is stays banished. So they have to find a way to get that back into the grave as well. They need to get at least that into the grave. The A assault core is the only reason why um going to one is the only reason why this deck can be easily countered. But anyway, yeah, that's my number nine. This is like, you know what, it's fine. Like I don't have too much of a problem with it right now, but you know what? It's still it still left a bad taste in my mouth at the beginning. It really did. Anyway, number eight. Number eight, I forget what I put number eight as. Oh yeah, I remember. Uh, number eight is Time Lords. Uh, this is mainly because of my friend. <laughs> this is mainly because of my friend because he plays Time Lords quite a bit. Well, no, he doesn't play Time Lords a lot, but he plays Anti Meta a lot. He plays a lot of troll decks a lot. All right, he really does. But anyway, Time Lords basically like it's kind of like why they have so many bullshit effects. All right, a lot of them have bullshit effects. Some of them not really. Some of them like honestly, I don't mind. Like that one that basic, like that one Time Lord that basically like shuffles all your opponents. Your basic, I think it shuffles your opponent's entire field. But then they draw cards equal to the number of cards that they lost. So you know if my if he Opponent shuffles in maybe like five, then I draw five. So you know what? Honestly, that card's not that bad. I think it's actually this blue one that's on the on the left. Actually, I think that's him. But anyway, um, so yeah, there's that. Um, I'm gonna. However, when it comes to the time lords, the four more the most bullshit ones. I'm gonna show you right now. Mattel on the time lord, Meki on the time lord. Hail on the Time Lord, and then Lazy on the Time Lord. Honestly, these ones are freaking bullshit. Freaking Battalion basically returns your opponent's entire field, entire monsters on their field back to the hand, and then you take 300 for each. So that's already bullshit. Mechleon, it has your opponent's life points. Why? 
Like this. Well, I mean, I get why because like Jesus Christ, this, this deck has no attack points. So, <laughs> all right. So you know what? That's fine. Halion. Uh, what the hell does Halion do again? Oh yeah, he inflicts damage uh, to your opponent equal to the difference between. Uh, basically, if the user, if their life points are lower than the opponent, then your opponent takes damage equal to the difference. So basically, just tie them up. But basically, just ties their life points. And then Lazy On basically shuffles your opponent's entire graveyard into the deck. And then every time they, and then once a turn, if they draw a card, they take a thousand damage. Like the hell, they have a freaking half life guy. They have a monster clearer. They have a they have a lot of burn damage, and they have a card that can recycle your opponent, that can just, you know, get rid of your opponent's entire grave. The fuck, man? And then on top of that, the freak, let me get rid of these guys real quick, alright? On top of that, the fucking traps! Empty Machine. Empty Machine's not too bad, I'm gonna tell you this now. Empty Machine, eh. I can kind of deal with it. It's not too big a deal, but you know what? It's still a little bit bullshit. If it like straight out bullshit, it's just straight out bullshit. All right. If it light prevents, can literally prevent your time lords from going back into the deck, from like what they do, like every like every other turn. Why? Why is this a thing? Why? Why is this a thing? Why is this? A, why is there a card that prevents the Time Lords going back to the deck? Why is that a thing? All right. Why? Why did Konami think this was actually a good idea? Like seriously, this is like straight out bullshit. That is straight out horseshit. Like Jesus Christ, man. Freaking like I. Like I want to call the police. I want to call the police right now. All right, because that is straight out bullshit right there. Anyway, let's get into number seven. Number seven. Is what was number seven? Yeah, I literally like just made the PowerPoint, so I don't even remember. I'm trying to remember what they what they were. Number seven was oh yeah, I remember. All right, number seven was Burning Abyss. Burning Abyss is basically like honestly, like in the beginning, I I liked Burning Abyss. I really did. I I really did. But like nowadays, but nowadays there's only three cards in the deck that really pissed me off. There's only three cards in the deck that piss me off, and that's Farfa, which is just a free banish. Like, what the fuck? Like, this, this card's just a free banish. Alright, and I'm like, okay. Then there's Dante. Like, I honestly just hate... I don't hate Dante. I don't hate Dante in particular, because I like throwing him in other decks. But in Burning Abyss, he's straight up bullshit. Just, alright? He's just straight up bullshit. You can spam this guy pretty damn easily. So... All right, and then you can overall on play on top of it for Beatrice. Beatrice is already broke and freaking bullshit. This is like the new Lavaval chain type of shit. But anyway, yeah, there's Dante, and then there's the new Link Monster. The Link Monsters, all right, the Link Monster prevents monsters that it's pointing to to be struck by card effects. Struck by card effects, and then he's a free mill. He's a three mill of a level three. Any level three. You can send, all right, well, if he was legal, you, could, you used to be able to send a dandelion. To the grave this um for this guy's effect and then get free to and then just free to bleh, two free tokens uh to your field fuck man i can't talk all right anyway um yeah these three cards are just bullshit like at least in, Bur in burning abyss these three cards are bullshit dante can be basically used in majority of mill deck or quite a few mill decks but you know what like Honestly, in, in its actual deck, its actual Burning Abyss deck, this card is straight out horseshit. Like, why? Like, I how? Why would anyone want to deal with this bullshit? All right. And then there's Fiendish Rush Rhino. I didn't put a picture of him in here, but I probably should have. Um. But then there's Fiendish Rush Rhino and everything. Freaking. No. Is it Rush Rhino? No, it's not Rush Rhino. That's TG. Fiendish Rhino. Whatever that. Whatever that Rhino is. All right. Anyway, it prevents your fiend monster from being destroyed by card effects. So basically, um, it, so basically, you can literally use the Burning Abyss monsters to special summon them all from your hand since you have no spell traps in your, um, in your spell trap card zone, which you normally won't. So you can just special them all in your field, then summon your Rhino, and then they basically all just live. Like the fuck, like that's fucked. All right, they have a freaking monster reborn. They have a monster that summons from deck. They have lots of different shit that they can do. All right, and all right, and like. Shit, man, like, I didn't, I didn't sign up for this. 
<laughs> I didn't sign up for this shit, man. Like, I hated this. All right. Now I will. Now I do like. Uh, I did like them before. I used to play PK Fire. I did used to play PK Fire. I used to play Burning Abyss Phantom Knight with the Speedroid engine. This was way before Links came out. All right. This was like two. Like, what is it? What was that? Like 2016, 2017. So, sorry, 2015, 2016. Somewhere around there. But anyway, that's it for Burning Best. Let's get into the next deck. Next, number six was... What was number six? Number six. This is the last deck before the Real Rage. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna click it. I don't remember. Phantasm Spirals. Alright. Uh, this deck... Uh, honestly, honestly, I think the Rage starts now. <laughs> but you know what? Phantasm Spirals, this deck was fucked. It's still horseshit. Jesus Christ, there is so many, alright, they, their two best cards is basically the, you know, Phantom Spiral Battle and then their Field Spell. The deck can't function without the Field Spell, it really cannot, alright, but the fact is, the deck is basically just a bunch of normal monsters, literally that's it, that's all they are, they are, they're just a bunch of normal monsters, alright, and because of that, alright, and the fact that they don't really um special summon until maybe like later in the turn or like at least like not in like not like really first turn they don't really do it on their very first turn they don't really special summon shit so because of that they can abuse cards they can basically abuse heat wave this is the, literally the card why this is the reason why i hate the deck all right fucking heat wave ever ever since i first burst phantasm spirals and i got heat wave turn one i'm like Fuck you then. That's literally that was literally my reaction. I was like, man, dude, this guy is for straight out horse shit. He freaking just doesn't want me to play the fucking game. Alright, that's the thing about me. I hate decks that doesn't let you play. I hate it. I hate decks that don't let you play. Alright? And this is one of those decks. Another card that they can abuse since they are just normal monsters, they can abuse skill drain. They're just normal monsters. They're just normal monsters. That's all they are. And then the freaking field book can generate tokens with two thousand attack. And their equipped spells could just keep summoning this mother, this freaking normal monster right here, Fantastic Spiral Dragon. All right, and because of that, they can abuse Skill Drain, they can abuse Heat Wave, and they, all right, and then just basically make it so your opponent literally can't play the game. Like, why would you want to do that? Why would you want to do that? I'm not the type of guy that wants your opponent to literally not play. I don't. Um. I will admit, I did do that with ninjas. I did do that with ninjas, but honestly, that was just because I was I was intrigued. I was actually kind of surprised that this that ninjas could actually pull that shit off. Did I find it dirty? 100%. I felt bad. I would feel bad for opponents um, sometimes. But, well, unless they were playing a deck I hate. <laughs> unless they were playing one of the decks on this list, then I don't really feel too bad. But anyway. Um, yeah, but, like, I don't like... Yeah, so, you know, if my opponent's playing a deck, then they're not... They're just not letting me play. I'm just going to leave, really. I'm just going to leave. I don't really want to deal with that bullshit. Anyway, let's get into number five. Number five, this is where the real rage... This is where the real rage starts, because, honestly, these decks I cannot stand. All right? These decks I cannot stand. And you're going to notice a bit of a pattern with these. All right? So, number five is Spirals. Spirals is literally, like... Honestly, I kind of liked them before they actually got good. Before they actually got good, I actually did like I actually did like them. I liked Super Agent and everything. I played them like a synchro variant before. This is before Lynx started, so I've I enjoyed playing them like a synchro X Y Z deck. I did enjoy that, but nowadays freaking like they got double helix. All right, they got Sleeper. All right, fucking Sleeper Last Resort. These two cards are the reason why I hate this deck. Literally the two literally like the only reason the freaking sleeper last resort combo is fucking horseshit. All right, Jesus Christ. Uh, if you guys don't know what the last resort sleeper combo is, it's basically you can equip last resort to sleeper, and then sleeper basically can't die by battle, right? Does that say battle? Uh, yeah, it can't be. It can't die by battle or card effects. So it can't die by battle or card effects, and your opponent cannot target with card. So basically, you just can't kill it. You basically just can't kill Sleeper. Sleeper's effect is basically you can, um, basically its effect is once per turn you can target a spiral card on your field, and then up to two cards in your opponent's field and then destroy them. You basically just target when Sleeper targets a spiral card on your field, you target itself. You're right. You basically just target itself. 
All right, and because last resort is giving you protection and everything, Sleeper doesn't die and your opponent's card too. So it's basically just two free pots for absolutely free. And I'm like, why? Why is this a thing? And I'm like, shit, man. All right, but then double helix and everything, right? Like, if you can Ash Blossom this thing, you can kind of shut down their play for the turn. All right, unless they can somehow bring it out again. But, you know what, double helix, like, you know what, I don't fear double helix in there. It's just sleeper and last resort. That's the only reason why I hate the deck. It's really fucking horseshit. I hate it. Like, I never liked it. Jesus Christ. Well, I liked Spirals before they, and before Link started, but you know what, like, whatever. It's fine. But these, yeah, but this deck, I can't stand. I can't stand it. There's so many variants that this deck can be played in now. You can play it in Pendulums now. I see a lot of people playing Spiral Pendulums now. But you know what, like, you know what? Just f fuck these guys. Fuck, fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. Somewhat fuck you. I don't really honestly. He's he's a good card, but I don't fear him that much. All right. You know what? I got Ash Blossoms, man. I got Ash Blossoms. What do I got here? Anyway, let's get into number four. Number four uh, is Trick Stars. Trick Stars. I just can't stand. Literally, literally, just one explanation. It's just one explanation. That's it. That's, that's the only explanation I got. <laughs> Trickstar Reincarnation and the Draw and Lock combo is fucking bullshit. Jesus Christ. If you don't know what the combo is, basically what your opponent does... Basically, your opponent sends Reincarnation, and then they go, then they pass their turn. Your opponent... You get your turn, right? Start your draw phase. They activate Reincarnation. It banishes your entire hand. You draw cards equal to this number of cards that you banish, and then your opponent is free to play Draw and Lock Bird. Draw and lock bird, basically, whenever your opponent adds cards to their hand, including drawing, which is what reincarnation is doing to your opponent, you base uh, you could discard draw and lock, and then your opponent cannot add cards um from their deck to their hand, and that's also including drawing. So your opponent cannot draw, um, your opponent cannot draw with card effects, and they cannot search for the turn. Just because of one card. Alright, for absolutely nothing. And then Candina can search out Reincarnation. So if you have Draw and Lock in your hand and you have Candina or Lightsake to search out Candina, you can just seriously just search out Reincarnation easily and then you can just go for the Draw and Lock combo on your fucking turn. Not the, only that, freaking Trickstar uh, Lacorus is fucking horseshit. Jesus Christ, man. Like, Reincarnation, alright? I've seen so many people playing fucking just, just straight up a burn Trickstar deck, alright? Just a burn. I see a lot of people, some people playing Link Trick Stars, like, like actually playing a Trick Star Link deck. And honestly, I respect those people. I respect those people. But people who are just playing them as a burn strategy, man, you guys can all go to fucking hell. All right? Jesus Christ, man. I hate people who do that. I hate people that do that. Or people who are just using the Trick Stars and they're actually doing like Link plays and not just like sitting on Lycoris, all right, just to burn them to death. Then I respect them. I respect them. I respect those people, but people who just sit on Lycoris and just freaking just mess with your opponent's hand and everything, yeah, you guys can all die. Anyway, number three. Number three goes to True Dracos. Now, the only reason why True Dracos isn't higher on the list because I did play them in a uh, Hey Deck gameplay video in HDG. Um, I did play them in those videos. If you guys have uh, seen that video, check it out. All right, it's awesome. It was actually a pretty good video. Uh, but anyway, right that uh, beginning to the point and everything. Uh, honestly, I kind of enjoyed it. I did kind of enjoy it. It wasn't, all right, like, it was pretty fun and everything, but the only reason why, but the only reason why I hate them, because two cards that this deck can run, fucking, well, one card that this deck can run, the other one, not, not so much anymore, but anyway, the only two cards that really just let a really bad taste in your mouth, and that's Masterpiece, Masterpiece, like, you don't have to deal with that anymore since he's banned and everything, but he still left a bad taste in my mouth. All right. I hate him in True Dracos. I hate Masterpiece in True Dracos. If you could play him in any of the, I'm used this. I used this card in Weather Painter before, and I actually really enjoyed that. I like using Masterpiece in my Weather Painter deck. But you know what? Like an actual True Draco deck, like, nah, fuck that. I hate this card. I hate this card. They're traps I have no problem with. They're the monsters they have access to right now, I don't have a problem with. But fucking Masterpiece, fuck this card. Fuck this card. The other card is Domain. Domain is basically. All right, domain basically like just prevents like once again like your opponent cannot play the game. 
your opponent can't play. So why the hell am I free? All right. So if your opponent has a tribute summon True Draco on their field and they freaking throw this card on the field, what's the point in playing? What's the point? Seriously, what's the actual point? If your opponent has a way to keep your opponent, all right, and not to mention they're a stun deck. There's they, they have a stun strategy. Like why the hell are we freaking like dealing with this shit? All right. Like I hate this stuff. This is literally the new meta monarchs. All right. I hated monarchs before. Freaking, all right. And this deck really, really made it worse. Made my date hate for monarchs even more because they're just the exact same place out, just more bullshit. But anyway. Anyway, let's get right into number two. Number two is Sky Strikers. I'm assuming you guys are understanding the uh, are understanding bleh, understanding the pattern now. Um, anyway, uh, Sky Strikers um, is number two. There's only one reason why it's no two reasons why it's set number one, at number two and not number one. It wouldn't be number it would be at number one, but the only reason why is because one. Uh, one, the, my number one is more bullshit, in my opinion. It's more bullshit. And then this, and then the other, and the second reason is I, I don't hate Sky Strikers. I don't hate, I don't hate the, well, no, let me rephrase that. I hate Sky Strikers. I don't hate the engine. I don't hate the engine. I don't like, I don't mind using Sky Strikers in like an engine. Like, you know, I play for, like, you know, for example, I'm playing fucking... Like, what's a deck I'm playing right now? Let's say, um, what's a deck I'm playing right now that I throw Sky, well, any deck that I throw Sky Strikers in and everything. I got, I don't know, I have my, my I have, uh, I'm trying out a, uh, what's it called? A fucking, God, what, I can't remember the name. The hell was the name? Anyway, let's do, okay, you know what, Ninjas, all right? I have a, I'm making, I've been working on a competitive ninja deck and everything, and I've thrown the Sky Striker engine and everything. I got a freaking, I got Engage in there, I got Hornet Drones, I got Afterburner in there. But you know, like freaking, alright. So you know what, I don't mind that engine, and it's just the pure Sky Striker builds. The pure Sky Striker builds, I just can't stand. Alright, and there's three, alright, because like, these cards aren't once per turn, they're not a hard one per turn, you can play them as much as you want in a turn. Alright, and I'm like, why? This is like spell books all over again. This is like spell books um going rampant again. Especially with one of their cards being multi roll. Alright? Freaking Widow Anch freaking Widow Anchor is not only a negation um a just a quick play negation to your opponent's monster pack, it's also a snatch steal. Alright? It's also a snatch steal. Like what the hell? Air freaking multi roll is already bullshit. This is literally spell book of judgment. This is literally spell book of judgment. Why is this legal? Why is this allowed? This shit, this ain't right. This ain't a right card. This is such bullshit. All right, and freaking multi. All right, not only is multi roll able to recycle their cards, your opponent can literally target a card in their field, send it to the grave, and then your opponent cannot respond to any of your spells. It doesn't even have to be sky striker spells. It literally can be any spell. Your opponent can't respond to pod desires basically. All right, and usually the card that people send to the grave with multi roll is area zero. Which basically gives you the free rain. Uh, uh, Rai, or what the fuck her name is. But anyway. Yeah, but the freaking, the pure Sky Striker build is just straight out bullshit. I know you can throw anti spell dragons in your decks. Um, in your side decks and everything, and I will easily counter them. But you know what? Alright, but you know, like Twin Twisters and like some other decks. But you know what? You know what? Like, honestly, like, I still, I just... I hate the pure Sky Strikers. The engine, I don't hate. I don't hate the engine. I hate the, like, the actual, like, pure Sky Striker deck or any pure Sky Striker anti-meta deck. I hate that. I don't hate the engine. All right? That's the only reason why it's number two. All right. So, let's move on. Before we get into number one, I want to do, I just want to mention some honorable mentions uh, of, Decks that could have made the list, but they just didn't. Alright. Number one, be the first deck is basically being like Lair of Darkness decks. The only reason why Lair of Darkness is basically on the list is because of Infernoids. Infernoids left a lot of bad taste in my mouth with the uh, Lair of Darkness and everything. And if it, was if it wasn't for Lair of Darkness, Infernoid, wouldn't I wouldn't even be thinking of Infernoids. That's the only reason why Lair of Darkness is like... Um... 
Okay, because like Lair of Darkness is the reason why I hate Infernoids and everything. So yeah, I don't hate I don't hate Lair of Darkness though. I really don't. I don't hate um Lair of Darkness decks. I just hate Lair of Darkness and Infernoids. I actually have a uh, Lair of Darkness in real life actually. Um, and everything. I'm working on a build for him. All right. I know I said I don't play in real life in my very first video, but you know what? I'm, you know what? I don't mind having. I've been thinking maybe at least having like one deck in real life that I can actually play, and I decide Lair of Darkness could be that. So anyway, yeah, I'm working on that. Anyway, second deck is Vendreds. Vendreds is just like I. The only reason why I didn't make the list is because I do like zombies and I do like rituals. So you know what? Like that's the only reason why I didn't make the cut and everything, but the deck is a bit bullshit, um, because of how much the deck can do, so you know what, the deck, alright, so, alright, but I don't have a problem with them, just because, like, I do like zombies, I do like rituals, I'm surprised I'm actually not playing Vendreds, but I just, I don't know, I don't know, I just, I don't know, there's just something about the Vendreds that I don't like, I just didn't feel like playing them, alright, the next, alright, and then the last deck is the Gem Knight FT, FTK, now, I don't hate Gem Knights, I just hate the fact that how they play now, how people play them now. I just don't like that, but you know what, I do, alright, but I do like Gem Knights. That's the only reason, alright, that's the only reason why it's not on the list, because I do like Gem Knights. But anyway, um, alright, like, I don't know, I really, really enjoyed them when, like, Brilliant Fusion and Absorb Fusion first came out. Alright, and, uh, fucking Lady, Lady Brilliant Diamond. Alright, I really enjoyed them. Alright, but you know what? The only reason why they didn't make the list is just I hate what they've become. I hate what they've become, but I still like the deck. But anyway, let's get into number one. If you've been following the pattern, you probably... If you've been following the pattern of the t last four decks, you probably know what this deck is. Anyway, number one is Altergeist. Altergeist, I just cannot stand. Oh my god. Literally... Why do you have a deck? Why do you have a deck of 40 cards? Seriously, you're only working with two. You're only working with two. And that's Multifaker and fucking Silquidos or whatever the hell. Silquicious. Or whatever the hell his name is. Alright? You're only working with these two cards, really. You're just looping these cards over and over and over and over and over. That's literally all you're doing. Freaking. Alright? And then. Alright? And then there's the stun cards. Then there's the stun cards. This is the real reason why I hate him. Alright? This is the real reason, all right? This deck can freaking main deck. You can main deck these. People main deck this shit. Freaking rivalry of the warlords. Fucking anti-spell fragrance. Freaking uh, imperial order. And then the hand traps. Literally. Literally, this deck is just straight out bullshit. Like, why would anyone want to deal with this shit? All right? I don't understand it. I really don't. I hate this deck with a burning passion, man. I hate decks that say you can't fucking play. This is the definition of you can't play. You are literally just working with fucking... The only monsters you're really working with are Multifaker and, and Loquitious. That's literally the only card you're, dealing with, you're working with. The only monsters, all right? But you have other monsters in your deck. Why? Why? You're not really using them. You're just using these two. You're just freaking looping these guys back and forth, back and forth. All right, and then there's these fucking cards that are making it freaking impossible for your opponent to even play the game. This is the definition. Of, this deck is the definition of fuck you. That's literally the definition of this deck. Anyway, guys, that's it for my top ten video. Like Jesus Christ, and then there's pro. Actually, no, I'm not even done. And then there's protocol. There's protocol. You can send an alter guys. You can't negate your opponent's alter guys effects, and it can negate that monster effect. By sending an Alter Geist card you control to the grave. You can send the level 1 to the grave and get a free search. What the fuck? Man, this is freaking bullshit. I hate this. Right? I hate this deck with a burning passion. Oh, don't think. Alright, and the only reason why I'm making this list very early. Because honestly, the top 5, the first, the top 5 decks that I said. Honestly, I don't see them changing. I really don't. Honestly, I maybe changing positions maybe. But definitely not changing the top 5. Um, throughout the, the rest of the year. Anyway, guys. That's it for my top 10 hated uh, decks of 2018, at least so far. All right, but, all right. Anyway, I think maybe um, sometime, maybe I'll wait, I'll wait maybe until, you know, 2019. I'll wait until 2019 and I'll make another top 10 favorite decks of 2018. I have a lot of decks that I've been playing lately. 
um, and I'm actually really, really enjoying. But you know what? All right, so honestly, my top that top ten deck uh, list is actually going to be hard to make. That's going to be hard to make because there's a lot of decks I'm playing right now that I really like. But anyway, um, anyway, that's it for this deck. Literally, just staring at these cards has really given me a fucking stomach ache. I just hate these cards with a burning passion. Anyway, that's going to be all for now. Hit the like button. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below and also follow me um, and leave a comment on this video. Also, subscribe if you are new. The support is always greatly appreciated. And, hope you, and, and I will talk to you guys later. Goodbye.